Hello, welcome to Steve McDonald's Crafting and today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be upcycling this box and I keep all my boxes to make a picture. I love these electronic scissors. They cut through virtually anything as well. I will link everything that I use today in the description below just in case you're interested in getting hold of any. So I've cut myself out two squares and I'm giving it a little bit of a press down to make sure that they're all right. And I will go round and trim it up. And I'm going to glue these two squares together using this adhesive spray. It's quite cheap, but it's really effective. I use it for loads of different things. So I'm just giving it a spray, trying not to make mess with it. And I have got my extractor fans on as well, although it's not too smelly. I give the second part a spray and then I will leave them for about two minutes and then I'll push them together like this. So just using my weight behind it. Well, not all my weight because I don't want to crush it through the desk. I've also cut out of the remaining box my shapes that I want to use here. And I've just used some random shapes. Some I've got in threes, some I've got single and others I've got in twos. And I've got some old wooden chopsticks that I've never used. And I'm going to use those as a frame going around the edge. So firstly, what I want to do is I want to make this waterproof and glue everything down. So I'm using a PVA glue here, which is a white school glue or an Elmer's glue. And I'm just popping everything that I want to glue down onto this, onto the actual glue itself. Just making sure that my little chopstick frame is level. And then I'm going to glue all the card bits together that I want are in piles like this. Putting plenty of glue on because it does make the cardboard waterproof and you'll see why that's important in a minute for the next stage, which is the fun bit. So just popping them all down, sticking them in where I want them to be. You do get working time with this because it does take about two hours to dry. And then once it's all dried, I did go over the whole thing again with another coat and now I'm going to use these plaster strips. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And ring that little bell. Ring my bell. So I'm going to cut my plaster strips to the appropriate size. And these aren't messy when they're dry. They're not actually too messy when they're wet, thank goodness. Because anybody watching my videos know I can make a mess. I just quickly dunk them in some water, some normal clear water. Bring them out. And then I'm going to lay them over this dried picture. And this is why it's important for it to be waterproof, because you don't want it to go soggy. And then I use my fingers just to rub in where I want it, and then a brush to get it into all the edges so you can see the edges of any of the cardboard and the bits that you want. Again, I'm using my fingers here just to give it a bit of a move around. You can't be moving it around. And then I'll overlap it, because actually once you go over it with the brush or your fingers, you will never see the overlapping bits because it all does blend in. It, I think it's the plaster of Paris that's in it. Again, going through it with my brush, making sure I get all the little details out and making sure that there is no air or anything trapped in it. So there we go. That's all done now. And what I will do is I will leave. It does dry within about a couple of hours, but actually I'm leaving this overnight because I'm done for the night. And I'll let that dry completely. So this is all now lovely and dry. And as you can see, it's, it's set up quite nicely. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it all a base coat of black. And I'm just using normal acrylic paints here that I would use for any sort of painting or doing and just going through. Now, I am quite meticulous because I don't want to leave any little bits where the white is showing. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over it with a colour wash of this bronze metallic paint. So I'm added a little bit of metallic paint to this little paper plate and I'm adding water now so it is quite runny. And then I will wash that all over the black so that you can just see the black base coming through. And uh, it's easy to do. Just cover it up with that lovely bronze colour. And as you can see, you can still see the black that's coming through, which is fabulous. Making sure that you get all the sides. Now, this is dry. It didn't take long to dry. I think it took about a couple of hours at the most. Now, I'm going to be doing the same thing with copper. But I'm actually going to make the copper a little bit thicker. It's not going to be quite as runny because I want to use a slightly different texturing technique to give a bit of texture to the final picture. So 
I'm now using just a normal kitchen towel or paper towel just to dob off some of that paint that I've just put on and go along some of the edges as well to remove it. And once that's dry, I'm just using this gold wax, which is brilliant. I've had this for years and it lasts forever. And it just gives it up a little bit of shine where people would naturally touch the picture. It makes it just look a bit more natural. And I just polish that in and give that a really good rubbing in and polishing where I think people will have touched it. So some of the some of the fronts, but not the probably the edges and things because that is where it would have rubbed away. So and then I buff it up. So this is it finished. Don't forget hit that subscribe button. I will put a hook on the back and you can see what it looks like on the wall coming up. I really love how this has come out. Don't let me know in the comments what you think. If you'd like to buy me a coffee to say thank you for all my videos and help me keep making my videos, then please see the link in the description. Everybody that buys me a coffee each month goes on my wall of fame. So here it is, here's the picture. I do really like how this has come out. And you can make these any size as well. You can make them small, large, or medium. And it looks great. I'm gonna be making quite a few more pictures to put up in my studio. And I'm also going to be making some other things because I don't wanna be chucking cardboard away. I wanna be upcycling it. Enjoy your crafting. Bye.